Like, the sum is like part horror game, part adventure game. I don't know what to tell you. Like, this is giving me strong horror game energy. Alright, let's just get inside. I don't want to worry about them yet. Oh! What? Oh! Oh! Hey! 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 Whoa! Why am I falling down this thing? It's the little details. Oh my god! What on the wall? What are you? So, I've been spending my time kind of doing a couple of things, researching some stuff. I have lost all my scrap, but hopefully you're going to see why. I think, I think I finally have a build. I think I finally have a build. Uh, ignore the mismatching armor. I'm still figuring out what armor I want to use. This just kind of works for now, so don't pay attention to that. But, we now have access to a couple of friends. And so I am tempt uh, I'm testing out this build. It's basically a handless summoner build. I think I saw it somewhere as like this was a good option. So I started looking through all the things I had and that I had collected. And I started looking around what was available at the stores and what was available in my inventory and just a couple of other odds and ends. So to show you what we got going on, I have the Chicago typewriter. So I did figure out how to get into that room um, over there where we kind of went last time. And I did go into the labyrinth and find the way through. And I got the Chicago typewriter, which I have upgraded as much as I can at this point in time. Which I think, where are we? We're at like plus, plus 18. It's kind of going off screen for me, but like <laughs> you can see, plus 18. All right, so that's going very well. I'm still keeping the star shot. I don't know what I want to do for a sidearm. I still haven't figured that out exactly. Um, and we're still rocking the spectral blade because honestly, I have not seen anything so far that I would want to swap this out for because I just, I think it's so, so good. All right. Now I have managed to get it up to level six. So we've got a number of things sort of going on here. So number one, I have got uh, the whispering marble. So the weird, what I'm still convinced is a berserk thing that we got last time. So grants three stacks of bulwark increases all damage by 3% per stack of bulwark, right? So I'm getting a stack of increase. Now you're going to notice if you have a look at me, I've got five stacks. And that is because I've got a couple other things going on. So number one, I've got the summons life still 5% base damage dealt, which returns the, to the wearer as health. So basically I get that. I've got the sage stone, which I actually need to swap out because I was using this to help ex level this up quickly. Um, I have got the soul guard, which gain a stack of bulwark for each active summon. And then I've got when receiving healing effects, gain haste for 10 seconds. Um, thing is, I'm basically always gaining healing effects. So I'm basically always being healed, so I always have haste. So it's really, really nice. <laughs> but hopefully you can start to see the bones of what I'm putting together. Um, and it's nice having these on my side. They help out a lot. Now, as for the plan today, I don't have anything else I'm able to do. If you do have any recommendations, though, I am pretty sure this is the build I want to go with. At least for now. Um, the main things I'm struggling with, honestly, is number one, weapons. I grabbed the Chicago Typewriter because I've obviously heard it's like one of the best assault rifles in the game. Um, arguably the best for an assault rifle, um, like this anyway. So I grabbed that. I don't know what to do. I don't know if that's the best choice, if I should run with something else. But then I've also got, obviously, the, the Star Shot and my Spectral Blade. If there's anything better, let me know. Also, some sort of cohesive armor set. I would, I would greatly appreciate that. <laughs> anyway, all right, we're going to head back to La Somme. Because that's the plan for today. I'm wondering if we are able to maybe finish up the song. And yeah, so they've got the palace courtyard. That's the pathway of the fallen. Namaway's rest. So I'm guessing there's sections we can get to all around here. That's what it seems to look like. Uh, we're going to head to the palace courtyard and we're going to start again. Also, welcome back to Remnant 2, everyone. I'm so glad everyone's still enjoying it and having a great time because I am loving it. All right, now it's time to go investigate all the areas I haven't been to, which we've got, we've got a little bit going on that I haven't been to. I still have not optimized my traits. I didn't have enough scrap left over to do that, so that's still a work in progress. Um, that being said, though, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very keen to kind of see where we get to. And I do know with this one, the more you hold down, or the more you keep firing, the more accurate it becomes. I'm whipping every shot though, so that doesn't really help me out. It's definitely something to get used to, because I've been using the... 
He's on fire. The range isn't as good on this. So I do need to keep that in mind. It is a little bit of a, a readjustment to kind of get used to... Um, I guess I want to say just not having the range of the bow and obviously the instant hit sort of critical that it's got. Or how much damage it can do. But... I don't really have anything to capitalize on it anymore. We're pu pulling in the gang. I love this. Doesn't matter that I'm playing solo. I bring my own gang. Alright. Get the torch on. Get the torch on. It just helps me because I always try to lighten things up in editing if I notice that it's a little bit dark. Uh, but... It's not always an exact science, it can be a little difficult. So right. if I can help out by just making it... Kind of tank that a little bit. So if I can help it out by just having a little brightness on it, just makes things easier. Helps us all see a bit better. Okay, I'm gonna have a look around. Excuse me, Piggy. I'm telling you, Lassom is creepier in this. Lassom was... Eh. Oh, they already took care of it. Look at that. I don't even need to stress. This is where I'm feeling maybe a little confident. At least when I get the, the trait points sorted out. Um, I'm feeling... Hey! I'm feeling somewhat confident on going into Apocalypse. I've basically got a little gang with me. It's really nice. I like it. There was a trait point somewhere. I don't want to forget where that was. What? Hang on. Whoa. I didn't look up. What is this? What is going on here? Have we been... Okay, yeah, we've thoroughly swept as we're going. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to thoroughly sweep everywhere as we work our way through. Because I just want to make sure... One, I'm not missing any pickups. But two, I don't want to miss any potential story bits. Or clues as to what's going on. Because what is this? Is this the representation of the phase world like fusing in with the the Drans world is that sort of the the implication here it is a little off-putting having them like making growly noises i keep freaking out oh hi oh yeah here we go there we go another one there we go see that even from the distance Give me this. Keep it going. I'm trying to show you these. These things are great. And if I pick this up, it's going to give me a damage buff. And I can explode it to do more damage. Even though most of everyone is dead. There we go. See if I do this. Lamp. Now there's this whole viral area. Pretty sick. I like it. But I figured an elemental weapon is going to help... Um, just take advantage of the rate of fire on this thing, like, because it's going to build things up real quick. There is a particular mod I'm looking for where one of them... Uh, I don't know where to get it. I, I can't even remember the name of it. I don't know if any of you would know it. But there's a mod that basically... it's It summons these little... I think it's like crab creatures or something. Either way, the mod power is to summon something. Looks like I'm full And it counts as summons, so it adds, like... I think you summon five... So it adds five stacks of Bulwark, and then obviously I get, like, all my other benefits in addition. You know? So that, that I feel like, in a bad situation, could really turn the tide. Let a, not just from the mod, but, like, just from what the mod technically gives me, you know? Alright. Well, I am searching around. I am trying to see what's going on. I don't like the feel of this place. It's, like, the song was always creepy. I've said it a hundred times, but the song was always Go creepy. But now it's extra creepy. But I am curious about all this talk of, like, an imposter king. Very, very interesting. Because a lot of things were alluded to when we talked to our friend in the sewer about who did what and who was a part of it. We know Namue was, but then regretted it. No thanks. This place is creepy. I this gun I actually really like. Like I said, I'm still dialing it in. I'm still getting used to it. But it's 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 pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I can't I can't complain. I can understand. I can already understand why people like it. That rate of fire is insane, and the fact that it gets less um less inaccurate as you hold down the trigger. Oh. 
Well, let's just break up that party. Okay, you're doing a backhanded stance as well. There we go. Okay, that burned a little bit of ammo, but... You see what I mean? Like, once you get that locked on and dialed in, they're in trouble. Especially having my group here to kind of split up the aggro. It is making this real nice. And I, I'm finding this a lot easier. The granted, I haven't come up against a boss. I think that's where things are really going to be put to the test. Okay. So that's this. Oh, that's another side dungeon? Okay. I mean, that could be um, the one we did in... Uh, what was it? Uh, the One True King storyline. That could be it. Like, everything's on fire here. So it could just be that again. Well, I'm going to investigate for posterity. Um, so let's find out. Wait, the Derelict Lighthouse? Wait, that sounds different. I mean, we, we got a lot of the, the same stuff going on. Whoa! Life is pain. I mean, I agree with you, buddy, but setting yourself on fire doesn't feel like an improvement. Alright, where is this dude? Where is he? He's to my right. Yeah, it sounds like it's over here. Yep, there it is. There we go. Come on, try it. Oh, this thing shreds. Get out of here. Give me all this stuff. This thing absolutely shreds. I feel very confident with my summons. One of them is a little low on health, but that's okay. Um, okay, I'm just going to quickly invest. Yay! Okay, I saw that. This thing's just peeking around the corner. Okay, taken care of. Beautifully done, team. I've got such a good team. I've got my dog. I've got my two flying dudes. And I think you get like a really beefy one when you get this up to the highest level. Um, I don't know whether it'll be better to just have the one or the two. I'm going to have to obviously experiment with that. But I'll tell you what. I am liking this build. So much up and down in this section. Look at that. Ladders everywhere. Tight corridors. I'm not a big fan of... I just don't have any visibility around a corner. Anything could just get the jump on me at any time. We've got a little... Oh, God, I'm on fire. Back it up. Okay, you know what? Let's take him down. Give me some health. Because they also blow up and deal a fair bit of damage. They were getting kind of wiped anyway. Oh, God. Yep, I remember you... There we go. Look at that. There we go. We hit. We, yeah, we're back up. Oh, not even a struggle to be found in what just happened. Look at this. Watching you. I don't trust none of that. Okay, so we've already been down there. There's nothing for me to see there, and I'm not going near that grade again. I don't know if that can happen multiple times or just once. Either way, I'm not. I'm not finding out. Got a bell? Can I ring it? Ah, oh, bell that won't ring. Haha. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me. I need to go back to that place because one of you was telling me that there is a secret in that room where everything's reflected. I just didn't see it. And that I did absolutely overthink that poem and it meant absolutely goddamn nothing. Probably just a poetic way of talking about the root or some shit. Look at this. Oh, they're pulsating. Ew, never mind. Ugh, that's gross. I hate that. Okay, let's try and... Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that. I like these touches. Oh. See, from a story perspective, I think I like Yasha the most. But from a, a world perspective, I think Lassom's my favorite. Like, world design. Here we go. The feeling. I think Lassom's my favorite. Now, we haven't explored everything yet. We had a whole other section we didn't go to over there. Outside is a cubby! Okay, look at that. Look at my team. Good work, everybody. Keep it up. Okay, so that's the path to the lighthouse. We're not interested. Oh, God. 
Eh, and Thunder Piercer. Okay. Fuck it. Why are you glitching out, dude? Okay, there we go. Reload that back up. Okay, that did a little bit of damage, but that's not too bad. Buddy's got that under control. Oh, it's shredding. Look at that go. Give me all that. Oh, that was, that was light work. Light work. Look at it go. I can just stand here. I can tank so much. The lighthouse key. Okay. And the new mutator. And some other stuff. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. I think I want to, I think I want to do something good here. That was light work. And especially because of all the bulwark and stuff and the way everything plays together. Oh my God. What are you? Um, it, it, I could stand there. I was tanking so much damage, but with between my health regen and like the amount of damage reduction I've got going on, it really didn't matter. I don't think I could pull that shit on Apocalypse, but I'm just saying. So what are you? You look like the sea beast that we heard about in the story, but I don't think you're big enough. You are terrifying, though. You look like something I'd see in Dredge. Which, by the way, again, I, I'm loving that game. Dredge is doing... Dredge is... Dredge has wormed its way into my heart. I'm having a great time with it. Oh, we didn't check any of that stuff back there, actually. Oh. All right, well, I'm going to go back and have a look at that when we go back. We're already out here. Um, I'm going to go have a look at that area when, on our way back. And if anything interesting is there, I'll show it. Um, but for now, let's make our way to... The... The, the thing. The thingy. Um, give me this one. Commit the changes. Thank you. I'm just going to pump those into that for now anyway, and that's just going to help out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You like to spin. Every There's a lot of enemies that just like spinning. Look at how... Once you've got this thing dialed in, and then look, my summon summons figured it out while I was reloading. Oh. I'm having a good time. Alright, I am getting a little low on ammo. Even with my resupply band that's supposed to help with that. Anything good? Anything good? Yep. I do need to be a little mindful. Okay. This is so creepy. Like, the sum is like part horror game, part adventure game. I don't know what to tell you. Like, this is giving me strong horror game energy. Okay, can I get up there? No, but I'm guessing there's a way up from the inside. Head on a swivel, everybody. Team, stick together. I don't like any of this. You would not catch me dead in a place like this. You know, as much as I find, like, ghosts and the, and the, the concept of them, like, so fascinating, and I'm, like, 50-50 on whether they're an actual thing or not or, or anything like that, you still wouldn't catch me going here. You still wouldn't catch me going into a place like this, because I'm just a firm believer. I'm like, look, fuck around and find out. I don't want to find out. So, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm cautious about any concept of going on a, on a ghost tour. Okay, this is where we need that lighthouse key. Actually, hang on. I'm not going to do that. I want to actually inspect that. Because I just want to see if there's anything that gives us some clues as to what's going on here. Okay. Inspect. This is supposed to be a key of some sort, but you've never seen one quite like it. Actually, yeah, look at that. Oh, wait, interact. Oh! Whoa! Hold on! The shape is peculiar, and there's a weird handle that won't stay in place. The rusted metal tells you it's spent a great deal of time near the water. Anything worth keeping under lock and key is something to be valued and kept far away from prying eyes and sticky fingers. Any key that you see fit to employ must be hidden. Most inconspicuous inconspicuously and guarded against all costs i have no such keys but if i did you can make certain i would punish any fool who attempted to rend it from my grasp ah uh, okay so what am i supposed to do with this so i'm trying to i'm trying to understand like is that so that's a key but then but then but then what's the point of moving it over here Okay, the only thing I can think of with something like this is that I have a choice. Right? So either I... The only thing I can think of is there's another locked door somewhere. Okay, hang on. 
I'm gonna go investigate because whenever that's making me think that I have a choice. Somewhere around here, I have a choice. Aha. Aha. Can I get back up there? I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, so that's the locked. That's locked. I can already tell that. Okay, and then there's a ladder up here. Okay. So I basically need to make a choice between whatever's in there. Wait. Where do I go? Okay, up here. Oh, hang on. Okay, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. We got a book. We got a book, everybody. All right. This might help. God's damned Howarth thinks his inventions are better than mine. What's anyone going to do with a saw that big? Fit for a factory, maybe, but not the common dran. You're just too puny and weak, he says. Stupid, ugly Howarth. Well, I say his head is awfully big for such a puny mind. Oaf, brute, clod. My, my man was very passionate. It finally works. Made a rifle to hunt fowl in flight. Uses a special kind of shell I designed myself. See, my inventions are useful, unlike my brainless brothers, and mine... And mine are... And mine are... God's damned Howarth! Can't think over the sound of that bloody saw. That'll teach Howarth to laugh at my rifle. Thought his saw was, as go was so good, huh? Well, which one of us is full of a hundred holes, stupid lump? I'll never hear him or that blasted saw ever again. Never. Whoa! Okay, buddy. You doing all right, my dude? Where are you? All right, hang on. So that leads us back out. Okay, so we got a choice. We got a choice. I'm a little conflicted because part of me just wants to go up into the... Part of me just wants to go up into the lighthouse, you know? But I don't even know if that's what it's going to do. Like, okay, so if we go up here, this takes us up to the top of the lighthouse or up to here. But I don't think there's any further up we can go, right? So there's this room. There is something that leads around the side, but I don't think we go further up the lighthouse, which is disappointing. I would have liked to go up there. Yeah, look, the ladder's been kicked down. All right, well, considering the other one was way less obvious, I feel like that's going to be a really good thing. So you know what? We're going to go with the tunnels. See, I'm starting to understand now. Honestly, it's from, the, which we're going to go back and visit in a second, but it's from that last dungeon we did where I had to choose, where I had, like, the medallion. Um, I had that medallion. And I, I just used it straight away, and then I realized I had a choice. I, I don't know what they do. I still don't look up what they give me, but... There we go. All right, I'm guessing we had to flip it to access this. All right, what's under here? Ooh. Oh, I think we got a weapon. Oh, yeah, because that's who what he was talking about. The Sparkfire Shotgun. Fires incendiary shells that apply burning, which deals 30 fire damage over three seconds. So it just naturally is imbued with that. So like how I turn this into, like, I, I can use the mod to do that. It just has that. Then you can stack another modification on top. So you could have it. Oh, you know what that'd be good for? The Ritualist. Because doesn't the Ritualist deal with negative status effects? Like, that's basically the whole shtick. Like, is to deal with those negative status effects. Oh, yeah, I can't go back out here. So, if you could stack negative status... So, it already has an inbuilt one. And then if you stacked another one on top, you'd be doing... When your, your mod is active, you're doing two negative status... Um, or debuffs at the same time. Which is pretty spicy, honestly. All I want to do is head back up over here and just check out this corner. Um, but otherwise, I think we did it. Who's shouting? I didn't even see you. That's how quickly my team took you out. There were people around here. Oh, yeah. My friends have already figured it out. Look at this. The Burden of the Warlock. Interesting. Okay, you have been holding out for a long time. Good on you. Good night. There we go, right in your stupid face. Good night. Alright, we did it! I found all the things. I can now safely say I have looked around the entire map. Let's have a look at this. No stone left unturned. The only one was obviously whatever else was in that room. I'm very excited about that shotgun. I don't know if I'm going to use it at least with this build, but... It's very cool. It's very snazzy. We're getting out of here. 
And what I'm going to do from here, actually, I'm going to quickly jump over to... Um, back into the pathway of the Fallen. I'm going to go back to that room, and we're going to have a quick look at that. All right? Because, yeah, it was Lady Azela. I think that's how... I'm, that's how I've decided I'm going to say your name. You comment all the time. You give me such good information. Um, that's how I'm going to say it. Uh, you were letting me know that there's something about the reflections. Something about something being there that isn't there. Uh, or that is there. Oh! Oh, sorry, buddy. I think I clipped you. Look at how good my group is. My group of people? They are flawless. Um, but yeah, basically something is in the reflection that isn't there in reality or, or something. That's, that's what I think is what the gist of it. It's all very confusing, but so is everything when it comes to the Somme and what they do. Okay, let's have a look. That looks interesting. It's, it's not there. Okay, hang on, can I shoot it? Ooh! The Shade Stone. If that was it and I just happened to find it off the bat, off rip, that's going to be, that's hilarious. Okay, hang on. Give me a look at this. I thought I was going to have to look around more. Okay, what do we get? Burn of the Warlock. That was the last one. Reduces mod power requirement by 15%. Activating a mod costs 15% health is gray health. Activation cannot kill the wearer. Okay. Uh, increases skill damage by 12%. Would that count as my my friends here doing 12% more damage? Okay, where are we up to in the search? There's a lot going on in this section. So, oh yeah, that's right. We're going to head back the opposite way because that looks like it's going to link up to where we couldn't get through that door over there. Um, over here. Looks like that's going to le lead us through a back way to get there. Right. They've come for us. You could always ask questions before you start throwing sickles at me, but you know, I guess that's asking too much. That is so cool. It's like an aurora, but obviously otherworldly. Like, it is not normal. Ring of the Vein. Hang on. Reduces invulnerability window on evade and combat slide by 50%. Increases movement speed while aiming by 35 That's a weird trade-off. The allure of its presentation crumbles and one is able to glimpse the blemishes beneath the golden exterior and the cracks that mar its mirrored surface. The Fae is so often accused of vanity, but is, is it truly a crime if such a wealth of pride is warranted, owned, and utterly irrefutable? I, for one, would take sweet vanity and the whispers it elicits over morose mediocrity any day. That is an interesting um, life motto, dude. I just love exploring. I really love exploring. Okay, what's that? That's another side dungeon? Ooh, okay. Well, you know, we're not, you know we're going to do it. You know we're going to absolutely do it. I'm not missing anything in here. There's been so many new things we've found. And so many new places. And I know we haven't done any main story. I haven't even had a cutscene other than, I guess, Numaway. Maybe she counts. We've got another place that's on fire. Maybe this is what we've already been to before? Maybe? Lamarck District. Nope, that doesn't sound familiar. And we do have enough scrap, by the way, for the respec. Um, so we have... Oh yeah, my friends have got that. The fact that they can fly as well, they just go up and take care of whatever they need to. It's really nice. I'm really enjoying this build. I think it's really nice, especially for solo play. Especially for solo play, it's just, it's a really nice build to have all this backup. That is, that catches things I might miss and, you know, things like that. Okay. Again, there's just a haunting feeling in Lassom. Um, I'm a little, I don't know really what else to say about it, but it's just haunting. What is this? Where are all these clocks? There's a clock there. Another one over there. There's a lot of clocks here. Another one. Look at look at all the clocks. What is that trying to tell us? Time is important That's here. A lot of clocks. Yeah, right. Same thing. Same thought. All right, give me this. Twenty-four rejewel? Question mark. So they're not sure about the date. Tell you what, time it done stopped. Like the sky just halted forever. It's working. The village clock that is, just like in the stories. Now that I see it myself, I can't keep this flywheel with me. I barely made it home as is. If they catch me, they might take it and start the clock again. Doom us all. I'll tell you where it is, though. Doubt them bleeders can read, and you should know too, in case you might, you make it through this while I... 
Check the house clock, but know that old bird won't just open for anyone. Look to the tower, girl. You'll know what to do. I'm off to find you now. Here's hoping these letters have just been a waste of time. Okay, that's that's going to be important. I am taking a photo. There's so many clocks, though. Let's know which one's the house clock. What, this one? Oh, yeah. Ah, okay, so I got a... Okay, so I, I'm guessing I need to find a clock tower. And that tower is going to tell me what time I need to make this house clock. Yeah, there's all these clocks with different times on them. Okay, hang on. There's got to be a tower back out where we came from. Unless I need to leave and there's a clock tower outside this area. And then I come back here. Alright, I'm just going to I'm just gonna have a look around. Alright, we're just going to have a look around. Yeah, that's my theory. There, there's a clock tower somewhere out here that I need to find. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, eyes up, everybody. We're looking for a clock tower. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's it up there. That looks like a clock tower, right? Aha, and it's headed in the direction we're headed to. Okay. Get out of here. Yeah, there's a clock. Okay, hang on. I see to clear out everything in here. Oh, up there. Good on you guys. Alright. Uh, what time do we see? What time do we see? Uh, I can't get a good angle. Hang on. What are we looking at? Oh, there's something purple up there. Okay, that's looking like 11... 16 or 17. Like, uh, right before 12. 11, 16 or 17. I think. Rotate it around. Okay, 16. 17. There we go. Okay, clockwork pinion. The fuck is the clockwork pinion? This piece of machinery was crafted with great care, the perfect and only piece that can do the job it was designed for. The descendants of Judas have been caring for that clock for as long as it's been ticking. They would no sooner abandon it than they'd abandon one of their own children. Okay, so this is something to do with that big clock. Okay. So maybe we need this to progress in that clock tower? So I'm glad we didn't just go in and check that out. I'm glad, again, this is this is why I check everywhere. This is why I check everywhere. Outside of just finding cool things, it often saves me time. Uh, my own stupidity can cost me a lot of time though, so it kind of all balances out to taking probably about the same amount of time, but I like to think it helps a lot. All right, let's head back to that clock. Making sure I don't miss anything around the sides, because we kind of came here and I kind of just beelined for... This isn't looking good. The... Hello. Oh, yeah. Friends, help me out. Oh, that was quick. Okay, yep. Okay. All right. Beam me up. Yeah. Uh -huh. That doesn't work. Okay, that doesn't work. Maybe this cog is for the mechanism? Yeah, this isn't working. Okay. Alright, maybe we need to have a bit of a look. Alright. What if up here there's something I need to interact with? Um, where would that mechanism go to? Okay, there's some stuff on the outer side. Let's go. There's probably somewhere I need to repair something. Okay. Some sort of light. Okay. Kind of glad we took out all the fey that was sitting up here. Otherwise, this would have been a really tough thing to do while we we're on this ledge. Okay, there's still some more, though. Are you dead? No. Something around this side? Oh, yeah. Another chest. Give me all that. Excellent. All right, let's roll back in, Get back over, and out the side. Parkour. Let's go. All right, we climb up again. Oh, there's more up there. What is that? That's a that's a big one. All right, let's just get inside. I don't want to worry about them yet. Oh! What? I I 
shit. <laughs> Oh, I hate you. Oh, my friends already took care of it. Good on you guys. Oh. It's horror, okay? This, this, the song is a horror game. You can't change my mind, okay? It went real quiet and then I just wasn't prepped. I shot, I, I fired to, into nothingness with what just happened. See, I like this. I like that we could actually go up the clock tower. I nearly, I thought I'd fell to my death. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I did! I fell on my death! Shit! I think I would have still opened okay. all the... All the chests still. Oh! Oh! Hey! 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 Whoa! Why am I falling down this thing? I just went for a slide. Jump over here. Give me this. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Only a few more weeks, Hugh, before I'm home. I hope these letters will do till then. I ever tell you how your great-grandfather, Lamarck, saved the town? Your namesake, Judas, built this tower, and we Lamarcks have cared for it ever since. Well, one day, word reached the villagers that a pack of bandits planned to attack that nightfall. Judas left the tower to help build defenses, even though everyone knew there weren't enough time to make them. But something strange happened. The clock stopped with no one, no one to wind it. And then it was as if time itself stopped with it. The day stretched longer than it should have, and the villagers had all the time they needed to defend themselves. Just a story course, but a good one. Shows us how important this here clock tower is to all of us. So this clock kind of controls time. I was saying before about how, like, um, I think they were saying in the, in the last one about how time kind of just stopped, you know? Um, and I guess it's because this clock tower stopped, and so that's how they were able to prepare for the bandits that were coming. That's kind of cool. I'm, I'm a fan of this. We're getting a lot of loot. Give me all this. Thank you. So I'm guessing I've made my way up here to restart the clock. And I'm guessing we're going to have a lot that happens. Okay, another note. 20th Rachel 560. Never got to sending that last letter. Something terrible has happened. I don't rightly know how to explain what I saw. Just some kind of demons came out of nowhere and started attacking folks. Awful beast, each uglier than the next. Maybe it's the same way you are. God's behind, I hope not. What's worse is folks don't seem to notice them, at least not till it's too late. I reckon it's the clock what drew them. I reckon it's the clock what drew them, like those bandits back in the day. Except I fear we ain't strong enough to beat these baddies off. They ain't breached the tower yet, but I'm worried th about you the most. I'll be out to find you as soon as it's safe. Okay, so do you reckon that's the Fey or the Root that they're talking about? 24th Rachel 560. Can't wait no longer. Most militia ain't doing nothing, like they can't see him at all. Ain't nothing stopping the creatures, but I need to find you. Need to know you're all right. It's the clock what drew him. I'm sure of it. I see him eyeing it. I can feel its magic in me now, thrumming ever since the demons arrived. Best make sure no one winds it again. See if that don't give the town the time it needs. I'm taking the flywheel with me. This clock won't run again till the town's safe. I hope you're all right, Hugh. I'm leaving these letters here in case, well... In case things don't go as planned. Maybe you'll read them, maybe not. I'm heading home for supplies, then I'm off to find you. Here's hoping I do before this letter does, or anything else does for that matter. Okay, so we're about to light, get this thing going again. And we're going to have something going on. Okay, give me this. Can you imagine? This is what I mean. I'm glad I investigated, because if I didn't... Can you imagine I got all the way up here just to find out I need to go back and get something else? That'd be infuriating. All right, let's do it. She's starting again. All right, we're winding it up. Clock's gonna start working again. And time's a ticking. Oh, yep, something just fell outside. Oh, yeah. Broken timepiece. New material? The face on this watch is unusual. It's not made for Earth time, that's for sure. Whatever time it was designed for, it's not telling now. Judas Clock, now there's a tale. Folks will say the clock stopping time is just an old legend, but none of them explain how else the town saved itself that day. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we can just kind of go back down. I'm wondering if things are going to happen now, though. This is so interesting. This is so cool. Like, we haven't had any cutscenes or anything, but the world building, the stories that you get from just the world and looking around. Oh, it's just something else, isn't it? It's just something else. Ah, uh, the Sunken Hort. Now, this is one we have done. 
This is what we did in the Taken King. Uh, the Taken King. Why am I getting Destiny mixed in with you? The one true king. All right. Well, unless anything is majorly different, I'm going to roll through here pretty quickly. There's something purple there. How do I get down here? How do I get down here without death? That's really my question. Like, do I have to aim for the water? No, that all just feels like death. Okay, we're going to keep going. <laughs> I don't remember that from last time, but I may just... You never saw me coming. And you'll never see anything again. Uh, we might get the same enemy again. Let's find out. Oh, yep. Yeah, we got the witch. We got the witch. We just actually have more context for her from the One True King storyline. So for those that don't remember... She basically had, uh, there was basically a journal entry about her that talked about how she came up from the depths. And because they were fishing folk, there was all this stuff basically about. Roll away. And basically she was going to come up and, and, and take out everybody this time. Okay, hold on. Help me out, friends. What does empathy... Can I ask what empathy means, just out of curiosity? She is a little tough. She is really tough, just because of the close quarters. Take this opportunity to load up. Oh, yeah, I forgot. She jumps down. That's fine. Okay. We got this. We got this. Oh, yep. Whoa, yep. Oh, yep. Okay, yeah, I shouldn't have tanked that, but that's fine. Well, this bulwark is for. There we go. Okay. Okay. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. That's it. Fuck you very much. Now. Okay. Sit up here. This is where the exit is. Is this the big hole? No, the big hole's a whole other thing, apparently. Alright, well, before I close down this for the adventure mode, whenever that is, um, I'm going to uh, make sure I come back and check out that hole. I'm very curious. So, this is a different exit point, and we've gone through one of those special dimension doors this time. Malefic Par Palace. Okay. Okay. No, just a friend. Hey, friend! I'm coming! What we got? What you up to? Oh, hi. Who's this? What am I supposed to do here? I think I'm meant to track this one. Okay, I think I think it's this one. I think. I think that's the one. Oh yeah, we did it. Oh yeah. Bayron mural piece. Maybe I should check out that mural again. Yeah, I think we got everything ready for it now. So I can't go through any of those doors, so I'm guessing if I picked the wrong one, it would have really messed me up. Is my thought process. Alright, well, we might as well. We might actually wrap up um, the song. Or at least this version. Right. Let's do this. Eh. The, the coloring is weird, though. So we got another level up, that's good. We're nearly at max level for this, which is cool. I like that. Wait, no, we've never been here before. This is different. This, this is different. It's like we're in another alternate version. 
Keep firing. Okay. Yeah, you're different. This is all different. I'm getting a lot of senses of like light and darkness in here, you know? Getting a lot of imagery of light and darkness. Which is interesting to me. So you got the Beatific and the May 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 whatever. Maytific, whatever. Mayatific. Oh! For you. Back up in this corner. I don't know where everyone is. It's really hard with the lighting in here to figure out where. Oh yeah. Okay. What is that? I don't think I've seen that before. The music is always so good. Oh god. Yeah. Run away. Oh god. Okay, we freaked out a little. That's fine, though. God damn, there's so much going on in here. There's so much in here. You know what I mean? I am. One of these things heals curse. I think it's this. Yeah, there we go. I think I could have just used... Oh, wait, there's another, there's another chest. There. Fine. Yeah, I didn't even need to... I didn't even need to stress on that. I was just like, yeah, it's fine. Oh, book. Book, 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 book. Okay. The Nara and the Job Hulk. Oh, we've read this one. Okay, so this is about the one true king. So basically, if you didn't see the episode, um, essentially the Nara is some sort of like ground-based aquatic creature and the Job Hawk is obviously a bird. Basically, the Nara needs to be able to collect enough stuff for the winter. Um, so she talks to the Jubhawk, the Jubhawk's like, I'll get all the nuts for you, you go get these things from this underwater cave that I hate doing, and I can't get to, and I'll collect everything for you. Anyway, she goes ahead, she gets it all done, brings it back, the Jubhawk basically dupes her, and then just doesn't get her enough nuts and she dies in the winter. Basically in indicating the moral is trust, wait, what? Trust cannot be eaten, the untrustworthy can. Oh wait, hang on, this is a different version. Okay, so this is all the same. Hang on, hang on. So this is all the same except for this part. The Jub Hawk throws her a couple of the worms she collected, but uh, she can't collect those. She can't eat those. She can't eat them. So it says, but the Jub Hawk had returned to his nest already and disappeared. The Nara called until the clouds rolled in and the sun set, but the Jub Hawk showed not a feather. She returned to her burrow with the scant nuts that the Jub Hawk had given her. Those nuts were gone within a week, but in that time the Nara had formulated a plan. There were no more nuts to gather. But there was food for those desperate enough to find it. The Nara returned to the Jubhawk's nest and waited until night fell, and the Jubhawk took flight. Then the Nara slithered up to the nest. For though she hated climbing, she hated the Jubhawk even more, and she snatched the Jubhawk's eggs one by one and tucked them away in her burrow. And then finally, did the Nara have enough food for the winter? Moral, trust cannot be eaten, the untrustworthy can. My mind is blown! I'm so glad I cycled through it! So in the One True King's timeline, it's about uh, trust is for fools, right? That's the moral, that essentially the Nara dies. In this one, the Nara goes back and eats the babies of the Jubhawk. And I think if we're talking about the imposter, the, 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 basically the people that usurp the throne, and I guess in this version, right, uh, the, the One True King would be seen as the Jubhawk, and this imposter would see themselves as the Nara who had been duped and who had every right... Did you really not get stunned by all those bullets? Can you... Whatever. So in this one, yeah, the, the imposters would see themselves as Unara, who had been duped, and who had every right to eat the, the jump or eggs, or that will take out the one true king and take his spot. So interesting! Wow, my mind is blown by the fact that the story changed at the end there. The little details. Oh my god, what on the wall? What are you? Back away. Leave me alone. Yeah, you just stay in that wall, alright? Okay, the back, his back is the. Okay, fam. Leave me alone. Okay, I'm getting absolutely wailed on. It's alright. My, my friends have got me. Oh. 
That scared the hell out of me. What the hell? Deposition of Venice, the unabridged. Okay, let's just see if any of this is different. Damn the king's consequences, the bastard's nothing more than a tyrant. Listen, advocate, we're off the record, so you can tell me true. You don't really believe this role you're playing. Fey have killed Fey for millennia. We all know the value of our freedom. I know you have aspirations to the council, so tell me straight, you're just playing polemicist, polemis, polemicist? For power, aren't you? I have to admit, Mr. Venice, you are an astute observer. I knew it! I believed all Fey to be basically the same, that all valued power equally and agreed on the means to obtain it, but you have convinced me there are those whom even the law is not powerful enough to contain. That's right, damn the king and damn his law. The king believes we are monsters, I had hoped to prove him wrong by example, but you, Mr. Venice, are a problem, one that will shortly be remedied. So in this one, this dude is trying to assert power, whoever this person is. And except in this one, he wanted to show the king that the Fey weren't monsters, and so he killed Venice, or wanted Venice killed, because Venice was basically proving the wrong point. The truth of the Cerulean's. Okay, this is another one we read in the One True King storyline. Give me a second. In this one, this the the rider is not um, addressing the One True King like in the other one, where it was kind of like a report. There is good here, friend, Shandala said, and what more will come. Stay with us a while and see. She stretched out her hand, though I could hardly see it through my tears. I placed my hand in hers, our fingers weaving together. I did not know what I would see, for her village of rebels was and is truly sick in many ways. But I have never experienced this love she spoke of, true and unconditional. I want to try. That is why I did not return to you for so long, Lord King. Okay, so no, they, she is writing this. And that is why I return now in armor and blood. No longer will we live in fear of your hand. No longer will the face serve against their will. Not so long as I have breath. We will die before we are thus enslaved. And whether death takes us or not, we will be truly free and you will see what our love could have been. Okay, so in this version, she doesn't stay there and say, please just leave us alone, etc. She literally just goes, I'm coming back. And literally they came back to fight. So interesting. Okay. All right. Okay, there's still a little bit more for me to explore in here. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. Um, I'm gonna tell you what I think the plan is gonna be. I need to find my way back, which is gonna take me a second because I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Okay, so here's the plan. Um, we're gonna end the episode here uh, because I want to kind of take my time going through that Miatific or whatever the, the ugly version of the palace is, the dark version. I want to make sure I take my time going through there just to make sure I don't miss anything. Now, my theory, and I, I think I'm right about this, is that we've seen a massive duality in this version of Lassum. There is always a choice, right? Like when we went into the garden, we could choose the light version or the dark version to get a reward. When we went into the lighthouse, there was another choice where you could choose one or the other, right? So I'm thinking that the final boss or bosses or whatever is going on here is a similar thing where we can open the mural either in this version or the other version where it's all light and nice or in this dark version that we're currently in. If I'm right about that, just feed me any sort of hints as to which one you think might be a little bit better. My goal would be to get both, like I will eventually go back and get both and re-roll until I can do it. But until I do that, I'd just like to know what would, might be more helpful in the short term. Also, feel free to let me know a little bit about like what weapons you think would go well with this. And again, I don't care if I don't have them. I will go find them. It will be fine. Um, and the other thing as well, anything around the trait points that you want to kind of help me out with in terms of what trait points I should be um, going into, this is what I have available to me so far. Um, let me know because I do want to respec so I've got something. So I've got all of this working to help us out as well. But... You know what to do by now. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment below anything that you want to, including what I've asked for, if you feel like it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. But that is going to be all for today. So bye for now.